All right. What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel, and welcome to Sail Forth. You know, I don't know what it is about these kind of games, but I find them very, very fun and relaxing. But, uh, hey, let's get into this. I, uh, the last time I played a game that revolved around ships and stuff like that was King of Seas, and I played a little bit of that. I'm gonna turn down the music and stuff. A smidge. Just a smidge. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I gotta say that the... Hang on. Yeah, I gotta say that the... Probably the closest... thing I could compare this to would probably be... The Wind Waker... Wind Waker, King of Seas, and... Oh, I don't know. There's something else in there. But, uh... Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. I, uh... Played a little bit. Um... Yeah, about two, two and a half hours-ish, something like that. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's pretty good. I actually lost track of time while I was playing. But, uh, anyway, let's get into this. New game, go. So, uh, from what I can tell, it's, uh, semi-open world. Um, you can go anywhere on the map and all that stuff. Um, but you do load into, I guess, like, I don't know, cells or tiles, kind of. Um, they're, they're pretty decently sized. Then there's like random things you can find in them, activities, events, people, quests, things. North Star, be aware and listen well. Unsettled, though magnificent, is the deep blue. The unseen look forward of all folk now dwindles. Gather the bold and beleaguered who sail on stormy seas. Billow their sails. Unveil the lost answers of the ever horizon. Gorb speed, dear believer, and... Sail forth! Yes, thank you, North Star. Hopefully my uh, audio's coming through all right. I guess I'll find out after I'm done recording this uh, little episode. But yeah, this is just going to be kind of a starter little bit here, probably the first like 30 or 40 minutes or so, just to uh, get the tutorial, show you what the game's kind of about. Maybe we'll get into some, some fights, because there is action in this. Um, but yeah. So far, I, I dig it. <clears throat> it's probably one of the more interesting takes on uh, sailing uh, that I've played in a game. You know, something like King of Seas is, is very... It's got some, some light, you know, light realism when it comes to sailing and stuff like this. But this, this kind of takes it just one step a little bit further than that. And uh, I'll show you once we get into this. Captain 2. Ugh. Ouchie. That was a close one. So, where the dirty duck am I? Hmm. Yes. Day one, shove off. Time to get moving. Guess I'll break out the oars first. Alright. So. We can increase our speed by pressing X. Uh, so, big difference on this is... Um, th there have been some other games that came out. I can't remember what the other one was called. It was... Oh, what was it? I played it for a second. Wind? Wind folk? Wind something or other? I can't remember. Um, that one had crafting and survival elements and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. This one is <clears throat> very physics-based when it comes to wind, how your ship interacts with the water and, you know, all that stuff. There's, like... I'm not a, I'm not a sailor, obviously. I'm just a YouTuber. But th there's a lot of, you know, various things that you can control in this that... Um, I think really kind of differentiate it from uh, some of the other uh, kinds of, you know, ship-based games that we've played. Anyway, so steering with left and right, you know, you can see the little rudder in the back doing its thing and all this. Um, let's go ahead and slow down for a second here so I can explain some of these UI elements. Uh, you can click R3, move the camera in and out. Depending on the size of your ship, this will be more or less uh, important. I'm going to keep it on the second level here. Let's go ahead and go to a complete stop, or somewhat of a complete stop. Okay, so let's explain the UI. Top left-hand corner, that's your armor or whole strength. Right now it's 13 out of, I think this one has 50 HP. Doesn't matter. Uh, middle of the screen, bottom, you can see uh, wind directionality. You can see where you're steering. You can see a little bar there on the left-hand side that shows the current... Uh, I guess, state of your locomotion. So, uh, you know, if you hold circle, you'll start to row and all this. Um, if you hold circle, you will 
go backwards, which I think is really cool. Uh, this I think this is one of the first like ship games that I've played that um, actually has oars that uh, you can use to, to get around and do course corrections and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, it's a really simple thing, but I mean, I just, I don't know, I never really thought of it before. But uh, anyway, let's uh, go ahead and stop again and get into this. So, what's this, what's this whole dealio that's that's going on with the, the center at the bottom there? Well, if you look at the very bottom, you can see what looks like wind. Um, that uh, you can also tell directionality of wind by looking at the wind itself in the game. But uh, anyway, uh, you can see that it starts at red on the bottom and then slowly starts to go up to green on the sides. That's basically the uh, the uh, directionality of the wind along with the strength of the wind, uh, mostly dealing with how you can uh, you know take advantage of the directionality. So. Uh, you can see where our current heading is, is north. It's a compass. Everybody knows what a compass is, right? Um, that means that if we go north, if we have our sail facing that way, we will have the best headwind, I believe it's called. Um, but anyway, let's uh, continue on here. It's pretty neat how they did it. So we're at full full sail right now, and different uh, ships will have different levels of that. Um, let's go ahead and explain the next thing here. Um, so you can see uh, a little red to green bar there on the bottom. Um, wish I could show that to you without having to... Yeah, whatever, we'll get into this. Anyway, Goose! Smell that fresh breeze, would ya? Oh yes, smells like a new day. You're a fine breeze indeed. Yar. <laughs> You'd never suspect something right terrible has caught the sea. Some untoward malice against the adventurous. Less I. Still, I'm luckiest beans who came along. Been stranded here after a hearty heap of misadventures. Hmm. Misadventures is my maiden name. I dig the cut of your old jib. But your scrappy ship's in scanty shape. That old catawampus won't hold the both of us surish sea shells. <laughs> what say you go snatch up some juicy wooden planks and we get right rigged for high adventure? Yeah, okay. Indubitably. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Fish and chips. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this all started. Whopper hearts still sail these waters. Turn your peepers to the west and have a gander. See that there tumble sunk vessel? Snatch up its smithereens and I'll jerry up that rattle trap of yours. I love the <laughs> I love the, the nomenclature that gets thrown around in this. It's pretty good. Okay, so now I can kind of explain another one of the uh, little gameplay mechanics here. Um, so uh, I said earlier that it's very much based on like physics as far as the wind is concerned. You can see right now, if, you know, if I'm facing east, it'll actually make me go backwards because of uh, how the the wind caught our sail there, which is very very interesting. So it is all very very based on how you interact with where you're going. Like, yeah, we'll go backwards because of how we ha uh, have our sail orientation. Now, speaking of sail orientation, that is something you can control. If you press L1 and R1, uh, you can see the little meter there. <laughs> God, how far am I going to go backwards? Anyway, <laughs> you can see here that... Um, just Tokyo drifting this thing. Ooh, stop. All right. Just stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so you can see uh, as we start going here, I can press L1, and that'll start to turn the... Uh, a little thing. Actually, you know what? The ship might actually actually not have the ability to. What is it? Jib? I think it's called jib. Jib and mizzen mast and all this stuff. I don't know how it goes. But you can basically turn your sail to try and uh, catch the the uh, the wind in the most optimal manner. So we're gonna have wind here. Let's try and catch some of that. This little itty bitty ship that we're on right now—it doesn't have the most maneuverability because you know it's a dinghy. Let's be honest here. Um, but anyway, the red and green bar there on the bottom will show you where abouts you'll catch the most wind, depending on how your sail is, uh, you know, configured in terms of directionality. So yeah, it's pretty good. I don't know. It, it feels really good to sail in this. I gotta say. Every time you talk to somebody, you immediately stop, by the way, so. 
Hey, you came back for me, and look at that haul. Wooden planks and ship blueprints? Kaboom! Let me show you the ropes. Please do. Okay, so we've got two ships at the start. I think when I was playing before, I played with the Pippin. Yeah. But you can see, as well, different... Uh, you know, stats and whatnot. We've got rowing speed, armor, max speed, max crew, weapon slots, modification slots, and weight capacity. Uh, every ship has those same stats. It just kind of depends on how they vary. Uh, between the Pippin and the Azalea here, uh, you can see the Pippin has more HP, you know, it's not as fast, so on and so forth. Rowing speed is a little bit faster. Max crew is also good. Um, I went with the Pippin before because I like the, the option of having three of the uh, cannons facing, you know, three of our four aim directions, but uh, yeah, this one's much more like an assault ship. The uh, it only has forward-facing uh, weapon slots, which is interesting. Um, I think I'm going to go with the Pippin again, just because uh, for one, it uh, will give us good coverage in terms of combat, and uh, it also has uh, room for three crew. Now, from what I can tell, the crew. Um, they give you minor bonuses. I'll, I'll explain it in a second. So let's go ahead and take the pip in here. Bam, look at that. Magnificent. Those sumptuous curves are making me sweat. Now we're tack tied, cut water polished, and then mizzens are let to billow. Wait a TikTok. What's this glorious vessel called? Right. Can't get shanties writ about our doings without a proper name. All right, I'm just going to call this the. Uh, uh, bah, 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 bah. Mm. Sansa Bar Boat. <laughs> I am so original, I know. Sansa Bar Boat. Okay. Nice one, Captain Toot. The illustrious Sansa Bar Boat is breaking the waves. You realize what this means, right? Uh, let's trade it for a dog sled. Maybe a hot air balloon? Uh, our little baby raft is all grown up. It means sailing without cannonry is a death wish, especially with all this craven malice about. Hmm. Uh, gonna need a bit of boom boom, eh? Yeah, I, I mean, sort of? My old fiasco ship went down not far from here. May it rest in a billion beautiful pieces. Shall we go see if the cannons are intact? We shall. Okay, so now I can actually show you how the sail catches the wind and whatnot. So, you can see right now, we're kind of in the red there. If I move this over to the left, you'll see we do speed up a bit, but like, I guess a better example of this would be like, if I'm over here, you can see that the wind isn't exactly getting caught in our sails. But if I do this, we will very much speed up. The camera kind of pulls out a little bit. That's how you know you're at optimal speed and whatnot. You want to try and manage that, but there are going to be situations where you just kind of can't. So, it is what it is. All right. Now, there is a lot of momentum and things like that to consider as well, so just because you put your sails away doesn't mean you're going to stop. I mean, should seem fairly basic, but yeah. Hey, we got our first cannon. Blamo! Hey, that wood crate up there was my cargo. Thought it sank when my tots got tatered. <laughs> I don't know if a lot of sailors back in the day said that their tots got tatered, but hey, it's okay. Too bad it's all locked up like a cowardly clam on Krebs Day. How do we get the darn thing open? Hmm, maybe we apply just a tiny amount of force. Right, like a super responsible amount? Roar, kaboom! Our mighty cannon dispenseth. dispenseth? There you go. Dispenses supremely responsible amounts of force once more. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the radial menu. That's triangle. Um, I think my options are still set up the right way. Um, oh, no. Okay, hang on. Uh, I like to... Okay, controls. Let's go all the way down here. And we're going to do local map right here. I'm going to choose that. It's going to be touchpad. Bam. There you go. Easy peasy. Uh, gonna make sure it accepts, continue, and there we go. Now I can open up the local map just by pressing that and not having to go all the way in here and go in there and stuff. Anyway, whatever. Uh, let's go to fleet management to manage our fleet of one boat. Is it still a fleet if it's one boat? I doubt it. Anyway. Okay, so very important. 
choosing where you mount your weapons. Uh, there are certain types of weapons that are better for certain areas. I mean, it really kind of depends on your playstyle, I suppose. But uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, second-rate swivel gun up here. Um, for now, you can move this around freely whenever you want. They're not stuck there, so you have a lot of freedom. Locked and loaded, Cap. Stop rowing. <laughs> How about you, an inanimate wooden box? So, L2 will bring up your aiming display. You can see your range, which is the edge of the cone there. You can see uh, a little target on this guy right here. Our crosshair also turned red. I'm pretty sure that that means it's going to hit. Um, there's some little bit of manual uh, aiming involved and uh, a little bit of auto-aim. Like I think if I shoot, like, here, it might miss. Oh, no, it hit. Okay. But, yeah. Then you have to wait... X amount of time uh, for your uh, cooldown to go down on your cannons. Thankfully, uh, we don't have to worry about ammo. You just have to manage your cooldowns. Uh, there's a couple ways you can do that. Yeah, map fragment. Thank you, Goose. Let me see that. Hold it upside down. Of course. Rowing backward can be a useful way to back out of sticky situations or avoid collisions. Hold decrease speed, which is circle, and we'll start rowing backwards, which I already showed, but we can go ahead and do that. All right, so while you're aiming your little cannon here, um, the okay, so the cone is your radius that you can actually attack in. Um, if, I, if I shoot right here, bam, you can see that bottom right hand corner or bottom right of our thing there, you can see the cooldown on the uh, the weapon itself. Another way that you can also tell is uh, waiting for the triangle, the little radius here, the little okay, okay, Captain, dude, I, I got it. Um, <laughs> You could also wait for that to uh, come back as well. Oh, it's going to be like slow down time. I'm explaining things. Calm down. Okay. <laughs> you can also see that the uh, the little radius here fills up from our ship outward, and that means that your uh, your cooldown is done. So that's another way to kind of keep track of it. I like when games have things that iterate upon each other and make them easy and whatnot. Let's uh, catch the wind here and start moving. Okay, so they want us to check out our world map. Let's do that. And we've unlocked the next area, which it's kind of clouded. Um, there's two ways you can travel on the world map. You can press X like this on a on a thing that you have a destination to, and you will travel there automatically. Uh, or, which I'm going to do, is just uh, sail there. So we're going to go north. Um, I'm not sure if the map has many things... Like, if I go to the world map. I'm not sure if there's, like, stuff over to the side here. I don't think there is. I think you always go up. Um, or down. I don't know. But uh, I guess we'll find out for certain if that's true later on. I don't know. Again, I only played for, like, two and a half hours. I only went to, like, the first five or six, you know, little sets of areas. But, yeah, when you see this little name tag pop up, that means you're headed towards another area. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of keep going there. It's a really easy trophy you can get here in the beginning is if you uh, sail for 15 seconds uh, optimally, which is keeping your uh, your sail itself with the wind properly, uh, you'll get a trophy. So I did that with the first little dinghy ship on accident. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Okay, day two, Flum's Day. Let's go. That must be a place. Where do we even start? Let's go ahead and slow down a second. Okay, open the map. Wants us to go to the area. All right, so... This is uh, something you're going to become very acquainted with, is the uh, the local map. It'll show you where the islands are, little things that you can find. Bottom right-hand corner will tell you rumors. So this one's saying we've uh, heard of a Skull Clan fort here that contains valuable treasure. Which, if you look on the map, it's right here. Right there. Fun stuff, right? Right to our, our west. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take care of that. So, there they are. See? There they are. Being, being bad guys. Um, we can't shoot them from here. Yeah. Pretty much uh, we're going to have to move up a little bit. So let's go ahead and get into trouble, shall we? Make sure we catch the wind. And that would help if I wasn't you know, going against the wind so aggressively right now. Come in. Come in. Turn. There you go. Yeah, momentum plays a very big role in this game depending on where you're traveling and whatnot. We actually want to go at them counterclockwise because of where our gun is. So let's turn around real quick. 
do some damage. Unfortunately, we're still kind of heading against the wind. So, bottom right, or top right hand corner, you can see uh, the HP of the thing we're shooting at, which is the armor. We also took a hit there. We took eight damage, which is non-optimal. But, uh, hey, it is what it is. Pretty much the big thing you're going to be dealing with is um, range and uh, cooldowns, which shouldn't be, you know, unknown for anybody that's played any type of a sailing game. But the combat in this feels good. It has just enough auto-aim that uh, it still feels like you're, you're contributing, you know? But yeah. So far, the ship-to-ship -ship combat's also pretty fun as well. Um, overall, the, just like the basic mechanics of this game are pretty, uh, pretty solid, gotta say. You can see a little island up there that's got something on it. We'll go mess with that. Oh, looks like a storm's actually kicking up. Non-optimal, but whatever. Okay. So we got a little box. You see that clam there? You can shoot that, too. These require, like, harpoons or something. I haven't found them yet. So, I don't exactly know what it is, but I would assume it's a harpoon because it looks like a harpoon. How about that? Logic. Reason. Rationale. Yeah, but I do like how this game is just... Ugh, almost beached myself there. I do, I do like how the uh, the game is... Uh, I, I don't know, it requires just like a little bit more from your, uh, your controls and whatnot. If you're looking for a nice, decent sailing game that requires a little bit of thought into it, then uh, who knows? This could be the game for you. I don't know. I enjoy it. I think they did a really, really good job with it. By the way, this is on PlayStation 5, and uh, it is 19.99, I believe. This came out, um, I want to say, the 23rd of December last year. Uh, okay. So, they want us to go ahead and head north, I believe. So, let's just kind of take a northeastern approach here. I think you can also check the uh, the map for where your wind's going to be headed as well. So, it's kind of like going over and like that. It doesn't really matter. All you got to do is really pay attention to that compass down at the bottom. That'll show you everything you need to know. I do have another ship that way. Or not ship, another island that way. We'll, uh... Go check that out. Random events and whatnot. Yeah, it's just some random thing. I don't know what it is yet. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not a big fan of... Oh, okay, I know who this is. I believe I know who this is. I think they want a uh, picture taken. Let's go talk to them. Oh, yeah, that thing right there? That little light blue circle blob thing in the water uh that's a fishing location we'll get to that in a minute but uh yeah just know you can't do anything about it right now but you will be able to soon firm firm's your name excuse us dear sailors got a moment my partner here forgot to remind me to pack our camera my shame is eternal can you believe it on a beautiful flums day like this it's uh, there's a storm I snuggle in an eternally itchy blanket of regret. <laughs> Any chance you've got a camera on board? I do not, unfortunately. Uh, we'll come back when we find one. Well, we'll be here if you ever find one. And I'll be here, standing in my shame. Yep. So, let's uh, continue north. Yeah, but I really like the sense of uh, momentum and weight that this game has so far. You know, feels good, especially when when the wind is all moving around and stuff. You really kind of have to manage some things, you know. But uh, I enjoy it. It's also pretty decent for accessibility options and things like that, which you love to see. You know, anything that makes it so that more gamers can play games is is good. All right, don't let anybody tell you different. Gulsway lands. Okay. If 
fine by me. Now, we could probably... Ah, okay, yeah, there it is. Now it's opened up. Yeah, we can also just, like, fast travel there, but... I don't know, kind of like, uh... Kind of like doing the... The whole thing. But yeah, I'm, I'm digging this game so far. Um, I've, I've found that uh, I really enjoy games that involve sailing and ships and ship-to-ship -ship combat and stuff like that. That's why I was such a big fan of uh, King of Seas when that came out. Oh, hello? Crew member? Okay, look at that. Now we got three people on board. Too bad. Looks like I got something over there. Let's go take a look. You have to be very careful about beaching yourself on, you know, little atolls and whatnot. There's a ship shaped shop and some angle wrangler wranglers, huh? That's uh, a rock. I thought it was something. That's okay. Nothing on this little island? No. Nothing on this little island. That's okay. Let's get out of here. Okay, man. Let's go. Slowly but surely. Come on. Okay. <laughs> we made it. Where did we make it? Ten feet. Good for us. I like to check out all these little islands and stuff like that once I get into a place. I mean, one of the first things I do is just open up the local map and see what we got going on. We got a ship up here, we got a shop here. Not too bad. Oh, and there is uh, ship-to-ship -ship combat. It's probably fairly obvious, but um, you can fight guys that are not enemies, so you can, you can be a straight-up pirate. You can... Well, if you could beat them, that's that's another thing. It's Otto Orion. I've obtained all the hottest deals. They are right here. Okay, Otto Orion. I see you were powerless to resist my marketing prowess. Today is your lucky day. Okay. Wait, are you a little slug in a big suit? I will be out of business by Goose Day. Out of business? I'm no expert, but uh, maybe raise your prices a smidge? Not possible, I'm afraid. Ocean floor prices are vital to, comp or to compete with my ruthless siblings. It is a race to the bottom in this saturated ship-shaped market. You're in a price war? With your family? Commerce and competition are in our blood. I suppose it could be quite destructive for all parties. Yikes. Yikes will also be your reaction when you see these cuckoo banana bargains. A true salesman. Top of the line vessels. An unparalleled variety of upgrades. I have precisely what you are looking for. Let's make a deal. Okay, so a lot of stuff you can do here. You can buy a new boat. You can get boat upgrades, sell stuff. You can sell a boat from your fleet. Uh, from what I can tell, you can have four boats total. The one you're commanding and three to follow you. Um, you can recover a vessel, which, uh, you know, I'm not too worried about that, but yeah. Anyway, let's, uh, let's check out, uh, boat upgrades. Hurry, before I come to my senses. Okay, so he's got a few things here. Uh, the gleaming deck gun, the rusted deck gun, and just the regular old deck gun. Uh, right now we have two open slots. Um, I guess you could say three, because I'm not going to keep the little swivel gun that we have. Um, so I could just buy all these. You can see the different stats, reload times, max angle of degrees, range, DPS, and whatnot. It's all, it's all very nice. Um, I'm going to take a look real quick and see. Okay. Yeah, I can't do anything as far as another boat's concerned. Um, but uh, that's okay. Money won't be a problem later on. Do have a pearl. We can sell that. Get an extra 60 wood. Wood is your currency, along with your uh, repair resource as well. Uh, so yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's talk about boat upgrades. Fire sale. Everything must go. Let's go ahead and get uh, let's get three of these guys right here. That 
may or may not be a good choice. Depends. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. Stop talking to me. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, outfit here. Let's go ahead and grab our gun. Grab our gun and grab our gun. Okay. So now we are fully stocked up on this little dinghy here. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, might as well repair the little bit of damage that we took. Got some shiny new business to equip. Use the radial menu to view your cargo. Yep. Now select the item and choose equip. I don't want to equip it, though. <laughs> okay. And while you're repairing, you can, uh, you can, uh, continue moving. It's not like King of Seas where you have to stop every single thing you're doing. You just have to do it. Alright, so... Ah, there it is. It's over to the right, slightly. Always be on the lookout for uh, boxes and things like that. Always good to keep track of that kind of stuff. On the little islands. We need a harpoon for that. Can't get that. That's okay. Uh, I think that's also a harpoon one. It doesn't look like a box. Okay, so, where are we at here? Where are we at? There's the ship. I think there's something that way. Looks like just a regular... just a person? I don't know. Let's go check them out. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely a person. Hello. Got a minute. I finally saved up for this boat, and the only remaining thing to do is to show it to everyone. I see you've got a nice little camera there. Could you, uh... Take a quick pic of me in the boat? Uh, I don't have the camera right now, so I don't know why you said that. Why would you say that? I'm so jealous. Alright, let's do this. So, this is going to be one of the next locations that's going to be very important for you. I see a clamshell over there. It's almost always worth it to try and go to all the little things to check all that out. Let's talk to these guys. Harumph. Look alive, ye crusty old barnacle beans. There be likely customers impending upon us. Yeah, what's that you said? Dust out them doldrums you got for ears, glubs. There's customers approaching. Splendid goose day upon ye sailors. Come bout and settle your sails. Marvel's work, harumph me matey. Didn't you harm yourself? Ahem. Loyal customers, so the deep blue and beyonder. You're sure to find what you need at Ye old Angler Wrangler Emporium. At your service. Reckon we will be the honestest <laughs> Angler Wranglers about. You can call me Snaps. And you met Big Harumph down there. Saluted hers. <laughs> that just leave old gloves. Dot dot dot. Gonna greet these fine folk gloves. Globs. Right o on me old potato. <laughs> Here be the only droll fishing soul you needs to know. You fish him, I fillet him. Wait a tick tock. You didn't got any tackle. Hook him up with some hooks. Glubs. What says ye? Wanna bob some bait perchance? Uh, yeah. We're in. Hook, line, and sinker. Take this, tis disadvantage to go alone. Thank you, old man. Bring about all the fishies ye can catch. I'll make it profitable for ya. Hey, that gives me a ding-dangle knot. <laughs> the dialogue in this game is so ridiculous. I love it. Uh, as you've no doubt noticed, I'm an artiste. Oh, here we go again with this. Alas, heavy with woe is me artisanal flow, me mind ever drowning in creativity block. Perchance, can you take some adventuring photos for me? Agree, and this only slightly used camera can be all yours. What time is it? Adventure photo time! Yes. Thank you, friends. 
I crave that exclusive Minxy Muse. Mama, inspiration. Oh, brother biscuits. Old bungler can see past his nose. Snap on any dings that might put another twirl in me twirly stash. <laughs> uh, I'll keep you flush with wood and resupply your photo films. Savvy? Uh, he's kind of falling out of frame here. <laughs> All right. Got it. Take pictures. You provide the film. These total cards are stunt squawk. Everybody know the real service here be ship customization. Speaking with yours truly when you wanna spruce that goose. Act that moose be loose again. Simmer down, you old saucepan. You couldn't hear a steam whistle on a smatter day. Uh, you get the concept, I reckon. Look alive, you ancient cheese doodles. Prepare to do that thing. Ye old angler wrangler emporium. You're fishy. Photo film. A fancy pass. Solvination. Alright, cool. So let's, uh, let's, let's get out of here. Oh, uh, one last thing before you shove off. See, you was, we was palavering, and this likely be lots to lay on somebody's, but you see, friends, desperatory times, innit? We once had a zix, zixillion shiny emporiums all over this dazzling deep blue. Kept us busy, I reckon. And twas right convenient for customers like ye. Alas, sorrow to say we lost them all. To pillaging stank pirates. The fuck's a stank pirate? <laughs> okay. We spy them crackle cannons and rabble rousers on your deck there. So can you help? Clear them out so we can reclaim them. Yeah, you got it. This will be a piece of crusty crab cake. Delicious. Trade chairs to ya, chillins. Bravo. Give them all the stinkers a roasty pile driver and seven. Bang zap. Zoom. Just send a signal when the deed's been done. We'll come hustling and set up shop real quick like. Thank you for hearing us out. Gorp speed out there. Man. Sailor voices are really hard on the throat. <laughs> okay. Let's take some pictures, show off that mechanic, and I think that'll do it for the first little episode here uh, I I recommend this game so far from what I've played it's just it's just pretty chill you can kind of go about it at your own speed and the combat's pretty satisfying as well um, I like the little mini games and stuff like with fishing which if we can get a fishing spot to show up here I'll show that off as well uh, I'm not seeing one around my immediate location but anyway Okay. Hello. Got a minute? Just got this new boat, so on and so forth. Yeah, wants to take a take a little picture here. So let's uh, get a smidge closer. Shut it down. All right. So radial menu, camera. There we go. And then it'll enter a little free aim mode, and you are underwater, my friend. Let's wait for the tide to go out a smidge. Get a decent picture. There we go. Do do do. So you see that little box that showed up there? That means that that's a, that's a picture opportunity. Um, I think that shows up for all of them. So it's just something to consider. Uh, let's get it all in frame and bam. Take that picture. Thank you very much. I feel like I gotta give you something in return. How about this? Thanks again. Oh, we got some junk. Hell yeah. I love junk. Junk's great. There's a little fishing spot somewhere. Got a couple of, uh... oh, there's a fishing spot. Do, 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 bam. Oh, I missed. Oh no, I didn't miss, okay. There we go. So this guy, we should be able to talk to him, I think. Oh, okay, or we could start fishing. <laughs> Showed up right next to us. Little fish had never hurt anybody. Then you just gotta move the little fish to the center. It's a very simple, very effective mini game. Yeah, not bad. We've got a Midas kingfish. Touching this fish uh, to ordinary objects will not turn them to gold. It will, however, make everyone uncomfortable. Very true. Where did this ship go? Ah, there it is. 
<laughs> I really like the I really like the locomotion in this. It feels very satisfying to use. It's not just, you know, like point in a direction to go. You gotta actually Oh sorry about that. This roommate's texting me. I gotta turn that off real quick. Okay. Hey you. Hey you! I wanted to talk to you. Ahoy, oh, your feet's looking a little thin there. I'll join for the right price. 1,105? Sorry, I can't afford you, unfortunately. That's a pretty decent ship. I think that's called the Idea. It's got uh, five cannons. Or five, no, five, four? No, it's four, sorry. It's four uh, camera placement, or cannon placements. Anyway, let's get another fish, and then we'll head over and talk to the angler again. Oh, and there is damage that can happen to your ship as well um, from collisions. So if you hit another ship or if one of your ships hits your ship uh, you will take damage proportionate to how fast you were going. Eek. Yeah, I'm assuming if you can't line it up long enough then uh, well, you'll end up losing the fish. I haven't done it yet because I'm, I'm a pro gamer. <laughs> Come on. Come on! I know we're moving against the wind, I know. I'm sorry. Let's use our momentum to whip around. Help us get into this. Get a little bit of momentum. Is that a... Uh, clam or a rock? I think it's a rock. Definitely a rock. But yeah. The game just... It's cool. I like it. I don't know. I don't know when I decided I, I, I really enjoyed sailing games and ship-based pirate games, but I, I like them. They are cool, and I dig them, and they are very relaxing and entertaining. <laughs> Which, come on, I think we could all use a little bit of that nowadays. Okay, ye old Angler Wrangler Emporium. Fishies, photo films, and fancy pants. Sorry, fancy paints. Let's turn in our snap. All right, hand over the film. What's this? We've got a real beauty. Uh, actually, that was a bad, was a really bad one. Yeah, whatever. So depending on how good your score is, uh, that was a 66. It's the number that shows up on the thing. Depending on uh, what kind of a rating you get, you get uh, more or less wood. All right, let's talk to somebody else. Let's go to the gloves. If you want to make money in this game, gloves is one of the best uh, best things to do, uh, at least for the early game anyway. Let's hand it for a fish. Thrill of discovery. Welcome aboard, my kingfish. Fish and chips. Had me a real revelation. Revelationary? <laughs> Realization. Peep this lovely pigmentation. I think Harump can fancy pants your, your fancy. I keep saying fancy pants. Fancy paint your ship with it. Less paint with all the colors of deep blue marvels. Okay, so uh, as you can see, you get uh, you know some sweet, sweet wood. Look into that how you will, and you also receive uh, an extra color from uh, Harump. Okay, so, get a, not a huge selection of options to change for your colors and stuff, but, uh, yeah, anyway. So, uh, yeah, you can choose your decal. Let's go with, uh, let's go with the sun. I kind of dig that. You can change the color. Uh, I'll leave that there for now. Uh, primary color. So this is the, this gold, or this yellow, I suppose, is the, uh, the thing we unlocked from getting the, the Midas fish. Uh, I'm gonna leave, you know, let's make our primary color. Kind of. Sure, why not? Secondary color. Let's go with. Uh, let's go with green. Why not? Uh, that's fine. Sail color. We can make that uh, br brown sail. That just seems so dumb. <laughs> Black, huh? More of a charcoal gray or something. But uh, yeah, why not? 
let's just do that and then let's make that uh, yellow like the sun there we go done we got a little little bee ship all right so as you can see our ship is slightly different colored not too bad you can see your little decal and your sail up there your name is also on the side of the ship as well i didn't realize that until just now that's pretty cool i dig it okay so yeah that's uh that's uh sail forth i i recommend it it's good uh it's not that expensive so you know if that's something you want then uh, there you go i'm gonna catch this fish and then i'm gonna edit it <clears throat> time to fish <clears throat> Like I was saying before, anytime you interact with something, like with a square button, it will, uh... Oh, it's not a fish at all. Pulled up something from the deep blue. Nice, we got a map fragment that's adding a new location. Cool. What do we got? Okay, so... These are the two that got unlocked. Which is not too bad. You can't zoom this in, so that what you see is what you got. I actually haven't gone, like, west or east in these things. I don't know. Let's uh, let's try it. Since I'm going to be ending the episode anyway here in a, in a second, let's uh, let's just try it. Although, chances are it's probably just gonna I don't know move us to the next area. Oh yeah. Also, um, while you're on your map, this map right here, uh, you can see these little arrows. That means that if you travel towards those arrows, which it's a little hard to point them out, but these arrows right here, um, that will take you to a new tile to explore. So, yeah. Got some behind us, some in front of us. It's okay. Let's just go this way. Screw it. Kind of curious if we just go straight due east, if it's going to take us to Colorborn Bay or not. I guess we'll find out. Experimenting and whatnot. But, yeah. It's pretty good. If you like uh, ships and the open open seas and all that stuff, I would highly recommend this. Um, especially if you played games like, I don't know, Assassin's Creed Black Flag or King of Seas or Sid Meier's? I, I don't think Sid Meier's would count as that. Just because Sid Meier's Pirates is turn-based? Strategy game? I don't know, whatever. I've, I've never played it. <laughs> it's okay. Come on, where are you going to take me? You can see our ship is kind of listing a little bit to the southeast. Uh, again, that's because the game runs off physics for the wind and your sails and stuff, so you have to be a little careful about some of that. Where are you going to take me, game? Where are you going to take me? Oh, also, I guess I could show off the different cones. Uh, you can see them kind of light up a little bit. So they go from gray to kind of a blue. That means you're actively aiming into that hitbox, which you can shoot all of your cannons somewhat at the same time. Some ships are way better at it, like the uh, the Pippin. Right? The Pippin? Or, do, or am I in the Pippin? I can't remember. I am in the Pippin. Okay, so if you're in the other ship, it will... Uh, I believe it's the Azalea? That only has forward-facing cannons. So if you're gunning on somebody, you can do some nasty damage. It's pretty good. I don't think the game's gonna stop us. <laughs> yeah, I can't see anything anymore. That's pretty awesome. I guess we'll find out, though. What's our local map say, anyway? Oh, yeah, we're just, like, way out here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I don't know. Let's just keep going. But, yeah, I recommend this game. It's very good. I enjoy it. Hopefully, uh, I don't know, maybe I could convince a couple people to pick it up and whatnot. It's not like this is a sponsored video or anything, so I don't get anything from it. I just think it's a fun little experience. Yeah, I don't think the game's going to stop us from, from going. I'm going to be 100% with you guys. It would be cool if we could find some different little things, though. Yeah, we are so far away now. That's good. What happens if I just, like, veer north? Will it take me to the next area? Let's find out. Hollywood stars and celebrities. Do they know things? 
Let's find out. No, no, it's Hollywood stars and celebrities. Do they know things? No. I can't remember what the thing was. This is from BoJack Horseman, if you guys have never watched BoJack Horseman. Again, really, really good. Highly recommend it. Super good. Oh, no, it's Hollywood stars and celebrities. Do they know things? What or... No. Do they? Do they know things? <laughs> do they know things? What do they know? Let's find out. There you go. That's what it is. <laughs> that's the whole title. Oh, man. Just just ignore me. It's okay, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's going to stop us either. So you do have to go to kind of a set direction. I wasn't sure if it was you just reach the edge of the map and then you go to the nearest location. But no, yeah, we're just kind of just kind of going forward. It's okay, though. We got our little crew guys. Change their color, too. That's good. So now they're wearing black and gold or black and yellow, whichever you prefer. Anyway, that is going to do it for that episode. A little bit longer, but whatever. Uh, again, pick this game up if you have any type of interest in, uh, you know, ships, sailing, stuff like that. Let's go ahead and exit. But yeah, if you do end up in a situation like that where you're just like keep going then uh yeah you can just fast travel from the world map anyway whatever that's gonna do it for that one if you guys liked it feel free to hit that like button leave a comment down below so on and so forth let me know if you guys pick this up because uh i'm curious i'm curious just kind of like some of the stuff you can find later on weaponry and whatnot but uh, anyway i will see you guys later uh, bye bye